My name's Ben, and today we've got this very unique 2016 on a 16 registration Audi R8 V10 Plus Coupe to show you around. Uh, it is a car we know well, as we actually sold it to its last owner. Uh, it's been wrapped since then, so wrapped in February 2024 in Ruby Star Neo, which is, as many of you will know, a Porsche color, uh, and it actually suits the R8 very well, in my opinion. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but it, I love it. It's also got a carbon roof wrap, which we'll show you a bit later on, and a dark ghost splitter side skirts and rear diffuser spats fitted as well. So it's a completely unique look for an R8. Uh, it's done 25,000 miles from new, uh, and it's a full Audi main dealer service history. And being a V10 Plus, it's got all of the bits you would want, uh, and it's a lovely spec car. So we'll start at the front and talk you around some of those bits. So obviously the first thing to go with all the black theme, we've got the black Audi rings, and then the full black uh, front grille as well. Obviously being a V10 Plus, you've got the carbon front splitter that's as standard on an R8, and then we've got the dark ghost splitter fitted beneath that. Audi's LED headlights with the LED daytime running light, and these headlights also have high beam assist as well. And then front and rear parking sensors, so the front one's hidden very nicely throughout the grille here as well. Coming around the side, we've got 20 inch forged alloys in this dark sort of graphite gray, almost a black. Uh, and they're a big multi-spoke wheel. Again, these are the cost option for the uh, R8, so in my opinion, the better looking wheel. And then as standard on a V10 Plus, we've got the carbon ceramic brake disc behind there with the huge calipers in gray, which also say ceramic brakes on them. Carbon door mirrors, again, part of the V10 Plus and the carbon side blades, which is probably the most important carbon part on the car. And then obviously the carbon wrap on the roof, which is really unique, stands out beautifully. And honestly, you'd be hard pushed to tell it's a wrap if you didn't know what you were looking at. Coming inside, uh, you'll have a look at the black leather interior throughout. Beautifully presented, soft leather all across the top of the dashboards and all of the extended matte carbon interior inlay, so around the dashboard, around the air vents. And uh, we've got the Recaro bucket seats in this car as well, so electric height adjustment on the Recaro buckets. They are perforated leather on there as well. Heated seats, as you would expect, and the illuminated R8 door entry seals. And then coming around the back of the car, We've got the big carbon spoiler across the back, again, standard on a V10 Plus. The big square exhaust pipes on either side as well. And then the carbon fiber diffuser across the back of the car. Rear parking sensors just above that as well. And if the cameraman stays here, I'll open the engine bay so we can show you what that looks like as well. Just pop the ignition on to do so. And it's on gas strut, so it will raise itself open. And then you've got that very impressive V10 engine under there with the LED lights in the engine bay. So you can see this if you're looking in at night time. It's very clever. And then the glass engine bay just pushes down, pops back into place. Uh, I'll come around and jump in the driver's side now and we'll talk about some of the interior options. You've also got a very cool, where they've wrapped the fuel fill event as well. They've put an R8 logo on top of that, which is a very nice feature. It's been wrapped professionally, as you would expect. And then starting on the driver's door card, so we've got the soft nap and leather everywhere you look on the armrests up the top here as well. And then that matte carbon interior trims around the air vents here, which continues throughout the dashboard around the virtual cockpit and so on. Power folding, heated, electrically adjustable door mirrors. We've got a frunk release because obviously being a rear engine, the frunk is a boot in this car. So that's uh, the button there. And then we've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system, which is very important option in our opinion on one of these cars. I'll fire it up into life now so you can hear exactly how good this sounds. Hopefully it'll pick up on the camera because it's an incredible sounding car and they just don't make cars that sound like this anymore. But looking at the steering wheel, we've got the flat bottom, smooth leather top and bottom, and then perforated leather on either side. Multi-function, as you would expect, with the big shift paddles behind, which stay with the wheel when you're turning, so very easy to change gear in manual mode. On the right hand side we've got multimedia controls, phone controls uh, and some voice recognition and on the left hand side we've got controls for our virtual cockpit in front of me so if I come across I'll show you, you can have the navigation on that map there and you can have it as a single dial in the centre as well if you want to in the map on the left hand side which is my personal favourite view but a lot of people do like the full screen map there. We've got a start stop button for the engine on the steering wheel in red and then the switchable sports exhaust which does make a big difference again probably difficult to pick up on the camera but it does make a very impressive difference on the left hand side we've got the drive select button 
And then when it's in dynamic, you've also got a performance mode button. So you can push that, go into performance, switch it from dry, wet or snow mode as well, which is unique to the B10 Plus. Coming down the left-hand side, cruise control on the stalk behind the steering wheel there. And then as we touched on, high beam assist on the indicator stalk, matte carbon inlays around the center air vents, single zone climate control, heated seats for driver and passenger. Lots of storage space under here. Apple CarPlay if you plug a phone in by USB or Audi smartphone interface, Android Auto as well. Start, stop, your gear selector. Again, more controls for the virtual cockpit down here. Cup holders under the armrest here, so it is quite a practical car and there's lots of space behind the driver's seat, a shelf behind the driver's seat where you can store stuff as well. And then I'll turn it off and jump outside and summarize the car for you. So as mentioned at the start, just over 25,000 miles from new with a full Audi main dealer service history wrapped in Ruby Star Neo, which I think suits it very nicely with the dark ghost splitter kit and the carbon fiber roof. Uh, lots of specification as you would expect on a V10 Plus. My name's Ben. I hope the video has helped. Thank you very much for watching.